I'm going to be rebuilding a team of players that Flight can't pronounce. We'll go with number 10. I don't know why. We've got Caruso of Alex. And just like that, he's the highest rated player. God, his forehead's huge. We're going to keep doing this until we have 10 players on the team. And of course, our ultimate goal is to win a championship. But I quickly came to realize that was much harder than it seemed. What is this? And the second player, yeah, pretty self-explanatory. We're two players down and we literally don't have one decent building block. Number 28 because that's close to 30. Okay, finally, thank you. Finally, somebody good. He's not good right now, but he, he probably will be. Of course. Of course, I can't celebrate for like two seconds. I can't have anything. We have Joe Harris and his questionable contract. And immediately right after, we got another questionable contract in Kevin Herter. And we still don't have a point guard. Okay, let's go with, I don't know, number one. Number one, gotta be somebody good. And it's not. And at this point, looking at the team, I was already defeated. There's only one man that could save this team. Victor Wimbledon, man! But before we do that, we have to fill out the rest of the team. 25 for Ben Simmons, Devontae Ocenzo. Oh, and that's fantastic. We have the real Steph on the team, and then we have, like, I don't know, his imposter. And eventually, with the seventh pick, we finally found somebody who could actually score the ball. Everybody throw the parade. Christian Wood's about to average the most empty 30 points per game we've ever seen. And with that, we have our final selection. Honestly, like, everybody on this wheel, or not on the wheel, on the board, everybody stinks. Okay, maybe, maybe not Tyler Hero. And with that, this is the team that we're rolling with. For now, at least. Because later on, we're going to get some more help. Luka Donakic and Rudy Gobert walk away with some awards. And eventually, we would win 26 games, giving us the second best odds at the number one pick. Houston, please don't. Come on, man. But it wasn't Houston that we should be worried about. Bro, we fell to six. We fell to six. What? Miami Heat got the... What? How? Is it because we took Tyler Hero? And just like that, Victor Wembanyama would be going to the Miami Heat. Or did he? Miami's dumb. Miami's dumb. They didn't pick Victor. I might try to trade for the second pick. I was determined to get Victor on the team. It didn't matter what the price was. This could be a franchise-changing moment. Sorry, Sacramento. You got cooked. Kevin Herter's kind of out of place, but we have, like, the thinnest front court of all time. We were also presented with the opportunity to sign Kyrie, James Harden, but I decided against it because I wanted to tank for one more season to draft Bronny. Honestly, I'm not even going to do the countdown because, first of all, I didn't even see what odds we have, but we have the third pick, which might be enough. And by the time our pick came around, Bronny wasn't selected, but it wasn't for the reason I thought. Wait, did I load in the wrong draft class? Am I dumb? This isn't a draft class with, with Bronny, right? Alright, you know what? Ian Jackson, you're like an 80 overall. Yeah, welcome to the team. Welcome to Seattle. And that would pretty much be it for the offseason. I didn't want to make any drastic changes. But as far as season number three, the main story was Victor Wembanyama. Oh, and he's averaging 26? Yes, bro. But of course, the rest of the team wasn't ready. That's about what I expected. And since we're four seasons in, we're on to our second board. Everybody on here has made an all-star game. And we have the Junsei Murray. So we should have enough cap space for Giannis Acumpo. And yes, once again, I know his name is spelled wrong. I'm a huge fan of BI. We'll throw him a contract. And I guess we're gonna go with Tatum of Jason. But literally, the fun would stop there. Both Acumpo and Tatum did not want to play for us. Giannis is going to the Pistons. Jason Tatum staying with the Celtics. Leaving us with the lowest overall of the three, Brandon Ingram. The next step of my plan was to fortify the bench. And to do that, I signed Derek White. And let me just tell you, this might be the worst signing I have ever made. And it hurts even more when you find out they played really well in the regular season. We're 17 and 1, 18 and 1. What are we averaging, bro? DeJounte with 19. Yo, Victor might be him, bro. I mean, we knew he was him. 24 points still, even after we added a bunch of people. And off of the strength of Victor Wembanyama, the first couple of rounds were no problem. The conference finals against Houston, Jalen Green, Jabari Smith, who was actually available on the first board, they were no problem. We had finally made it to the finals. We tried to sign a combo, he went to the Pistons, and now he's about to eliminate us. I have a terrible feeling. Man. And we're, oh, we're down 3-1. And do you remember about 30 seconds ago when I said signing Derek White was a mistake? Just watch this game. They pass it over to Derek White, who shoots it over Giannis. That literally, honestly, you guys are not built to win a championship. Clearly something wrong with this team. Yo, why do they keep passing it up to Derek White? What is he doing? Why are we calling so many plays for Derek White, bro? What is this? Nice putback. Bro, no way. Why is he? Yo, who's caught? First of all, somebody bench Derek White. Please don't tell him to ever shoot it again. Fire the coach. Coach, fire the GM. I know I'm kind of the GM. Yo, just fire everybody after this game. What is going on right now? No wonder you're losing. I don't know what I just watched. That was literally the worst simulation I have ever seen in my life. Milan Mack, our head coach, also known as Mike Wang. His contract's expired. Thank God. Please sign anybody but him. And as far as free agency goes, we had no cap space. Pretty much the only thing we could do was re-sign our players. Chat, welcome. You are now extremely rich. Also, while we're at it, get rid of Derek White, please. Oh my God, he shot 38 percent from the field 
than 32. First of all, why was he playing? Second of all, why were we calling so many plays? Luka Donakick returns as MVP. And the rest of the awards. Oh, yeah, we have a compo. Ready to eliminate us in the finals again. If we even make it to the finals. Because we got eliminated first round. We were the eighth seed. We lost to Zeon. Yes, Zeon. Z-E-E-O-N. Something's clearly wrong with this team. We have to shake it up a little bit. I'm honestly kind of disappointed that Brandon Ingram. I'm pretty sure when I signed him, he was an 88. He's already down to an 87. I don't know how this happened. The only thing I could turn to was the board. Bro, please give me somebody good. Please, bro. Okay, we'll take it. We'll take it. Yes, I know he has no nickname, but we'd be here all day if I went through all of them. Eventually, we made it to the conference finals up 2-1. Come on, we could do this. We could do this. No, we can't. No, I accidentally... Oh, wait. I accidentally pressed... No, no. I pressed the wrong button and we lost. It's impossible. I don't know what's happening. Are we cursed? And of course, it got even worse. Shea Gilgis Alexander left us in free agency. Yo, how come Detroit keeps stealing our free agents? We don't have cap space to sign anybody except for Devante Ochenzo. Bro, how are the stats getting even more crazier, bro? 40 points per game on 56, 45, 92. Okay, man. Yeah, fantastic. At this point, I was starting to lose it, but at least we made the finals. Bro, we swept the floor with them. 145 points. Our long journey our long painful journey it could be coming to an end we're up against the miami heat and john morant who i was just ranting about how good his stats were and of course we fell down 3-1 what else would happen ah <laughs> at least we're taking what game number five so now it's three to two yep it's three to two literally if we could hold this lead for like two more minutes we could force a game seven. Oh no bro jaw's about to dunk on the whole team they throw it down to carter jr they throw it over to the corner murphy is that trey murphy he misses that one pick and roll five seconds left Dejounte pulls up he misses it he did like the the kendrick perkins follow through where he okay you know what shut up already chet made the layup jaw with the ball i'm terrified jaw drives in chet with the steal chet who's been here the pass over to i forgot Forgot who you are. That was Ian Jackson. Ian Jackson, our third pick from, you know, that draft that we thought we had for Ronnie. Miami makes a layup. We're only up three. They're about to throw it down to Chet. Nope. They throw it over to B.I. B.I. Please, bro. Oh my God. He missed that terribly. Please, bro. Somebody help out Chet. Chet's been on this team since the start and they throw it down to the auto-generated player and he makes a layup. Only a one point game. But after literally tanking, almost not getting him, trading a bunch of stuff for him, it would be Victor Wembanyama who saves the day. They pass it over to... What is that? What was that? Oh my God. Look at the coach. Wait, is that D-Wade? D-Wade's the coach? We're going to game seven. We have a chance. Please don't disappoint me now. Please come back. It's still close. It's still close. Come on, 10-point game. Please, please, please. Please, bro. Please. No, it's a 20-point game, bro. Why, man? We lost, bro. Of course we lost. Lily, oh... Oh my god, bro. DeJounte Murray, thank you for helping us out, but we're picking up Scotty Barnes. If you hate Scotty Barnes, you probably have no soul, but we're also trading Brandon Ingram because Lily, I don't think he's done anything this whole time. I do want to trade him for Jaden Ivey. It's a little bit risky because we kind of got cooked by Shea earlier. He's only got one year left on his contract. Definitely have to make the most of it, but I think it's probably going to be worth it. Maybe, potentially. Oh, Emmanuel quickly. Yes, definitely. The easiest decision. Don't even just give him a minimum. Pay the man. Wait, is this guy back? Isn't this the guy that was calling the plays for Derek? white earlier bro i thought i fired you get out please ja we're coming for our revenge man or i should say ja and of course as usual we're down three to two in the western conference finals this time to zion and the pelicans who is this with the ball who is this where is Jaden ivy why is he shooting it oh my god he made it and for some reason after that three it was like i was watching a different team oh my god oh my god victor with the block and let me just tell you it wouldn't stop there oh my god oh my god he oh oh he's playing the defense of his life Thank you, Victor. Oh my God, we can't lose now, no. We're going to game seven and we're winning. Second half, we have the lead. Fourth quarter, we have the lead. Wait, 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 slow down, slow down. We have a 10 point lead with a minute left. There's no way they blow this and we're going to the finals. Victor is putting the team on his back. We're now up against the Hornets. I'm not familiar with like half of the people on this team. And please, bro, okay, two to one, please, please, three to one, please finish the job, please, bro, please, please. No, don't give up the lead. Oh my God. They throw it down to Ian Jackson, who's been on the team for almost a decade he fades away he misses it scotty with the rebound thank god we traded for him scotty with the ball scotty driving in the pull up yes bro thank you we traded for him thank god who did we even trade for him the junsei murray ingram of brandon i don't remember who we traded for him but thank god he's on our team george with the ball that is not paul george he passes it out over to marketing how old is he marketing about to fire it up and he misses it Jaden ivy Jaden ivy all the way and he misses it come on bro we're like a minute away from the championship no 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 don't give up layups not layups don't 
foul. But fortunately, it's somebody else who would be joking. He missed, he missed, he missed, he missed, he missed. Oh my God, bro. Please miss the second. All right, he made it. Three point game. Just hold it for 55 seconds. Why is Victor bringing it up? Oh my God. He pulls up, he pulls up and he misses it. No, bro, please. I could have sealed it. This team, I don't know why it's taking so long. Oh my God, they left him open. Who is that? Who is that? Who was guarding him? Victor with the ball. Victor running the pick and roll. He drives in. I don't know where he's going. He does a spin move and he makes the layup. Okay, do not blow this. Please do not blow this, bro. I've been sitting here for like two and a half hours. They throw it into George. George, they kick it out. What play is Charlotte calling? They pull up. Really, bro? He left them open. Oh my God, he missed it. Wait, 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 wait. He made the first one. Please make the second one. Jaden Ivey, please. Thank you. I'm looking so smart for trading for you. Charlotte doesn't have a timeout. That's it. It's over. We did it. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank you, Flight. Thank you, Shet, dude. Thank you, Victor. We finally won a championship, but on a side note, can Ben Simmons win a championship if I force him to shoot a bunch of threes? To answer that question, click on the video on the screen.